official, in case you were counting, we're only 112 days away from the NFL kicking off the 2024 regular season. And with schedules just released this week, there's a lot of excitement, but there's also new ways to watch. News Nation's Ryan Bass joining us. Good morning, Ryan. I thought cutting the cord meant things were going to get cheaper for our viewing pleasure. I never thought I'd miss my cable box so much, Anna. And that's <laughs> certainly where I am right now and a lot of NFL fans. Because as you mentioned, the schedule just dropped last night. We've got games on Mondays. We've got games coming up on Thursdays, on Saturdays, on Sundays, Thanksgiving, Christmas Day. Five international games in three different cities as well. So if you want to binge all of the football, well, you're now going to be blowing through your entire budget because you now need seven streaming services to be able to watch every single regular season game coming up this year, including now Netflix, which is entering the streaming rights stratosphere. The NFL gift wrapping a doubleheader of games to the streaming giant in a new three-year deal, meaning you'll need a Netflix subscription now to watch football while breaking open those presents under the tree. Chiefs Steelers and Ravens Texans are the featured Santa Day slate. Now, the deal also means the NFL partners with all major U.S. broadcast networks and now most major streaming platforms as well. Nothing is more in demand than the National Football League, and they know it. Confident you'll migrate to any platform necessary because they own the live event space. Now, last year, 93 of the top 100 broadcasts on TV were NFL contests. The State of the Union and the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, they were the only non-football events to crack the top 50. Simply put, football is king. So how much should you actually expect to shell out to watch all of these games? Well, you might want to actually sit down for this because it's going to be hefty. You'll need a cable or YouTube TV subscription plus the Sunday NFL ticket. That's already over $1,200 for the year. Add in Amazon Prime Video for Thursday nights. That's $139. Peacock, ESPN Plus, NFL Plus. That tax on another $199. And now Netflix for Christmas Day. That is a whopping $1,610 a year to watch football or 134 bucks a month before any possible price hikes that could happen with any of these streaming services. But there are some ways, by the way, football fans, I'm going to give you some advice here to save a few extra bucks. Number one, free trials are going to be your best friend here. You can always watch games, cancel them before that renewal date comes up. Don't be shy about sharing those passwords with your friends or family. YouTube TV and Amazon Prime, for example, they do allow family sharing, so you can then split the cost. And then one other thing, you can try and cancel subscriptions and then re-sign up when they've got some of these new bonus deals that could end up saving you a couple of bucks here. But, Henna, if you're thinking, you know what, splitting viewership, that's it. It's going to turn NFL fans off. That is just not the case. You'd be dead wrong here because January's Peacock-exclusive NFL playoff game between the Dolphins and Chiefs, it was the most streamed event in U.S. history, 21 million people tuning in on Peacock. And NBC said that that actually added 3 million signups to their platform, with IndieWire reporting 71% of those stayed until the end of February. So welcome to the new age, Hannah. If you're a sports fan, especially an NFL, uh, an NFL fan, get used to this because this is the new way of life, having to have all these services if you want to watch your games. Well, Ryan, you said don't be shy. I might be reaching out to you to get some of your login passwords. Just warning you now, my friend, Ryan Bass. I thank you. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.